Hey everyone, today we're going to do a quick review of the American Diner on NCL Joy. Come on with us. Hey everyone, Johnny from Bite Size Cruises. Welcome back to our YouTube channel here. Uh, thanks so much for joining us. If it's your first time here, we really appreciate you coming to check it out. We're going to do a little American Diner review. Stick around and join us for that. We'd also love for you to subscribe to our channel if you enjoy it. Uh, we're just a small travel agency. We try to provide you the best information possible so that you can plan and go on an amazing cruise vacation. Does that sound good? Let's talk about American Diner. So American Diner is the kind of like trendy, or I guess not trendy, but like the, you know, 50s-ish style diner that's on Norwegian Cruise Line. Royal Caribbean has Johnny Rockets. Uh Norwegian has the American Diner. Here's what I will say initially right off the bat. I've eaten it both so many times. American Diner to me is better. The food quality is better. Everything there is a little bit better. Uh, I like both of them fine. I don't think I would go out of my way to pay for them as like a standalone product. If they were both included in your cruise fare, I think it would be nice. If there was a $5, $10 cover charge, I said the same thing about La Cucina. If Johnny Rockets was like $10, I would, or American Diner as well, was like 5 or $10 a person. I can get behind that. Yeah, but the especially on Norwegian, I think 5 or $10 is perfect. On Royal Caribbean, I think Johnny Rockets should be included. I don't think it's good enough to be a specialty dining uh, supplement. Anywho. Let's start with the menu here. You have shake things up. So you got some milkshakes. First of all, the place is really cute. They do a good job. There are a lot of like little booths that look like old, the old 50s cars. Uh, the wait staff is great there. It's not as slow as Johnny Rockets either. It's actually pretty quick. When you sit down, and you get your menus. They do have milkshakes. They are very good. Uh, Meg had a milkshake on our most recent cruise. Look great. They have mozzarella sticks. I swear it goes a little off the rails of like a dining, exp like an old school diner. It's not totally there, but they do have mozzarella sticks, loaded nachos, pulled pork sliders, lobster and shrimp sliders, which is a weird choice for uh, like a diner, but mozzarella sticks are fine. They're, you know, they're like frozen mozzarella sticks. The nachos are actually really good and they're huge. The pork sliders were good. They serve them on those, uh, King's Hawaiian rolls. Uh, and then they have lobster and shrimp sliders, which I have not tried, but we will try those next time for you. They're $20 for like an appetizer for lunch. $20 is insane. If you decided to go here a la carte, come on. Next up are little handheld uh, sandwiches that come with coleslaw and French fries. I do not. Let's have a quick little uh, poll here. So in the comments below, if you're watching, uh, please tell me whether or not you like coleslaw. I can't do it. I despise coleslaw. I don't like soggy mayonnaise things. So let me know if you like coleslaw. I don't know if that's controversial or not. So the American Diner cheeseburger, it's good. It's a cheeseburger. It's better than the Johnny Rockets ones, uh, but it's just a basic cheeseburger. They have a honey mustard chicken club. They have a Mahi Mahi Reuben sandwich, which is, uh, I don't know why they call it Mahi Mahi when it's pastrami. Doesn't make any, oh, I get it. So it's Mahi Mahi dusted in pastrami. I don't know. That's a hard pass for me on that one. Uh, I have not tried that. And just reading the menu, I think that that's the first time I realized that it was Mahi Mahi and not just a Reuben. I'm not nuts about Reuben sandwiches to begin with. Making it fish is a, more of a hard pass for me. They have a crispy chicken sandwich. That's actually pretty good. I've had that. And they've had, they have the French dip, which I actually really like. Uh, again, the prices are a little insane, right? So, it's $16 for a French dip sandwich for lunch. Come on. That's crazy. Uh, so then we have entree salads, chicken Caesar, a chopped salad, a spinach salad. And then you could add chicken, steak, or shrimp to any of those. Uh, and then they have specialty. Southern fried chicken, actually pretty good. I've had that. Surprisingly good. They have a seafood basket, which is shrimp, calamari, scallops, and a fish of the day. I've never had that. Uh, at $22. I would try it, but it might be extra on your package too. I'll check that out. The shrimp and grits I've had, it's not great. And then the barbecue spare ribs, I have not tried yet. 
So we'll try that some other time. Then for desserts, they do have a s'mores dessert. It's actually pretty good. They have a vanilla cheesecake and they have a carrot cake. All of those are pretty good. I've had all of those. Let's also talk about, since we're talking about like little diner kind of food options. Now, Royal Caribbean has Johnny Rockets, which isn't my favorite, but Royal Caribbean also has Playmakers, which is kind of what I would put into this category. Just for the onion rings and, and the campfire cookie, I would pay extra for Playmakers. Goes to show you if something's good enough, I am more than happy to pay for it. I would go to Playmakers. I would pay $10 for that campfire cookie every day. It is so good. Anyway, American Diner, it's good in my belief system it's better than johnny rockets again who knows food is very subjective i say this in every one of our like dining videos that we talk about this is all based on my experience what kind of foods i like you may think it different which is why i try to say like don't i never say don't go there or don't try it um i just tell you what i prefer so if you have a if you had like an unlimited dining package go to american diner why not we went uh, and I did not use my dining package. We just did a la carte. We got some food. My goal on these videos is that when we go on these cruises, we just try everything and we tell you what we thought of them. So I don't mind paying the extra 20 or 30 bucks for lunch to try a few things to give you some feedback. I wouldn't pay for it if I was just going on a cruise. Now, if you have kids and you just want to go grab a burger and some milkshakes, sure, it's great. Um, I wouldn't eat dinner there and... Uh, I wouldn't spend a ton of extra money on it. But to me, it's, it's definitely a better iteration of like that Nifty 50s or that diner food on the cruise ships. It's pretty good. We are going on Carnival in like two months, so I can't wait to try Guy's Burger Joint. I have not been on one of the uh, Carnival ships that has Guy's Burger Joint yet. It's been a, it's been a minute since I've been on Carnival. And I'm going to be going on a bunch of Carnival in the next year so I, I won't be able to trash talk them anymore or maybe i will uh i'm just kidding so we're going on venezia jubilee and celebration all within six months so we'll get a little feedback on carnival we'll try guys burger joint and guys barbecue see how everything uh matches up we'll also try shack's uh big chicken sandwiches and we'll let you know on those too so thanks everybody for watching uh we really appreciate it we put out a brand new video every day uh, come back and check us out tomorrow. Thanks, everyone. See ya.